Welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. My name is Anna Runyon, former corporate consultant turned entrepreneur, and each week I bring you an inspiring lesson to help you find career fulfillment, work-life balance, and happiness so you are ready for the incredible impact that you can make on this world. Thank you for joining me today. Now let's begin today's class with Classy Career Girl. Hey, it's Anna Runyon, and welcome to our last podcast of 2018. It's been an amazing year for us here at Classy Career Girl. Just wanted to give you guys a huge shout out and thank you for all of your support for our podcast over this last year. It's been an incredible year. Um, I had a baby, and we had a lot of different podcast episodes that went out. I will always remember 2018 very fondly. So thank you all for your support. I'm very excited for 2019. We have so many awesome things on the horizon and it's going to be an incredible year. So lots of things coming up on the podcast as well. So thanks for continuing to support us and to share your Instagram stories of you listening to the podcast. Um, We love to share them as well. So make sure you tag us at Classy Career Girl if you're listening to this right now. So we can give you a shout out and give you a big thanks as well. So today is all about affirmations. And I chose this topic because I got a message on my Instagram story the other day with a question on how do I create effective affirmations? And affirmations can truly change your life. They have changed my life. And so I wanted to dive deep and do a whole podcast episode answering this question today. So what are affirmations? Affirmations are something you do daily. They're simply statements that describe a goal in its already completed state. And we believe so highly of using affirmations daily in your life that we have added them to our planner. So our Create Your Future 90-Day Planner in our in the daily planning section, we have a section to write down your affirmations for the day. So it's something that I do every single day, and I want you all to get in the habit of doing affirmations as well. So how do you create effective affirmations that can change your life? Well, we're going to dive into that topic today. One of the ones that, um, that I an example is I am so happy and grateful that I'm a happy mom of two kids. That is an affirmation. So if I am stressed out and overwhelmed with all the stuff that is on my plate, if I say that to myself every morning and every night, I'm going to be happier. I'm happy and grateful that I'm a happy mom of two kids because Trust me, I have to be grateful because it was a long, hard journey to get here to become a happy mom of two kids. And so when I can change my mindset from being, oh my gosh, there's so many things I have to do. My daughter is coming home from preschool in like 10 minutes. I have to get this podcast episode recorded because I'm not going to be able to work again until eight o'clock at night when both kids are in bed. Like that's, those are the things that are really running through my head. So that's why it's important to change the mindset because there's so much to be grateful for. There's so much to be happy for. These kids are my world. They're super cute and they just make me so happy. And so I want to continue to repeat this affirmation because it reminds me to be grateful. Um, One of the times, so just to give you a little story of how I've used affirmations to change my life, um, the one time I started using an affirmation was way back in 2013, and it's so ironic that um, that the night, so the night that I found out, we, my husband and I, we had had two miscarriages and we had done IVF, and the night that I found out that IVF did not work. We had done, we had used two embryos. I had gone through this whole process. It was so overwhelming and, and emotional. And I had found out that it didn't work. I was not pregnant, even though I thought this was going to be the thing that, that, that was going to work. And that night I was back in 2013, I was so sad and so just emotional mess. And for some reason, I was on Netflix and it was late at night. My husband had already gone to sleep. I could not sleep. And I happened to run across the movie The Secret. And it was all about the law of attraction. And I'd seen this movie before on Netflix, but I never watched it because I um, I, I didn't know what it was all about. But I was 
in serious need of something positive. I was in serious need of like a major life change at that moment because I was really depressed and sad. And so I watched The Secret. Um, it's also a book if you've never read it or watched it, like definitely do. And it kind of opened my eyes to the law of attraction and to thinking positively because the more positive you think, um, the, the, your, the more things will come true. So it's like Muhammad Ali said, it's a repetition of affirmations that leads to belief. And once that belief becomes a deep conviction, things begin to happen. So after that night of watching The Secret, I created, and, and I, th this isn't the way that I'm going to teach you how to make affirmations today. I was just starting. Starting anywhere is better than not not doing this, right? So I just want you to start somewhere. And where I started way back in May of 2013 is I created an I want list. So as I was watching The Secret, I started, I was in my phone, in my text, um, in my little notes section, and I started creating a list of things that I wanted to have in my life. And I wrote, I want to quit um, my job at Booz Allen Hamilton. That's where I was working. I want to work from home for myself. I want to be a mom of twins, which is kind of funny that I wrote that. Um, <laughs> I want to buy a house. I want to have a dog. I want to live a happy, stress-free life as a mom. And I want to have a great marriage and I want to have great friends. And I'm so glad I wrote this down because like years later, I can look back at this and be like, this was what I was writing when I was like just at the the worst days of my life. And I was just writing just these very simple things that I wanted to have in my life. And so much of this has now come true, but it all started from just writing down like where I wanted to be in the future. Um... So that is really the first time I started doing these types of this type of positive thinking and this type of visualization and affirmations and repeating these. Um, and and this isn't the, like I said the correct way to do affirmations. I'm going to teach you that, but it just started the process of me thinking positively. So there are three ways to create effective affirmations that can change your life. And the first one is something I learned from Jack Canfield, who is the author of The Success Principles, which is a very, very great book. I highly recommend it. And he said to start with words, I am, and use present tense. So that would be an example of an affirmation that starts with I am is I am 100% committed to being the person I need to be. I will become the successful person that I know I can be. I am committed to my daily personal development and daily discipline to reach all of my goals. I will take actions today to take me where I want to go. I can't wait for another year. My time is now. That's an example of an affirmation that I read to myself every single morning and night. Um, so start to visualize the things that you want in your life and start to add I am and use present tense. So that's why when I was really struggling with fertility and when, you know, I really wanted to be a mom, the one I would repeat was, I am so happy and grateful that I'm a happy mom of two kids. And I really could start seeing myself becoming that happy mom. I am, I am. So the things you want to make happen, um, other ones that I would have, you know, I wanted to quit my full-time job and I wanted to work from home for myself. Those are the, the wants that I wrote down, right? So the affirmation that I would say is, I am working from home for myself. Like I ha I am a business owner. I work with my husband. I am a happy working mom fr working from home by myself. So you also have to make sure that you create affirmations for yourself, not for others. And so this is something I have learned. I've seen other people create affirmations that are all about money and income and I am a million dollar business owner and and that kind of stuff. And those things don't really work for me. So you have to figure out like, what are those things that you really want? For me, like working out and being healthy is really important. So one that I would say is like, I am strong and confident, um, you know, and I am working out on a consistent basis and I am, I am healthy, I feel healthy. Um, those are some other ones that, that I say to myself as far as like health and exercise too because that keeps me going and keeps me going back to the gym as well. So you can do affirmations for work and for your personal life and for your family. Um, so that's the first one, starting with the words I am and using present tense. 
The second strategy for effective affirmations that you can do is write down like negative qualities and flip them to positive. So basically, you know, if you are struggling with some negative thinking, I mean, self-doubt comes up a lot in I in my Instagram stories. You guys are constantly asking me how to get over self-doubt. Well, this is one of those things. Take a piece of paper out, start journaling all those negative things that you're saying to yourself or negative qualities in yourself, things that you don't like about yourself. You know, maybe you're telling yourself, I can't turn my side hustle into a full-time income, full-time income business. Instead, flip it. You know, I can turn my side hustle into a full-time income business. I am running a full-time income business as doing the business that I love to do. I am working on my passion. So say that, you know, you're constantly feeling scared. So the affirmation that you would repeat yourself to yourself every morning and night is I am becoming more and more confident. I am, right? We learned that in the first step. I am becoming more and more confident. And you guys, this is going to increase your confidence. It seems so simple and crazy, but it truly works. I have been reading these morning and night over the last few weeks, and it really has flipped my mindset. And Basically what this is, our subconscious mind skips the word not. So you want to delete that word from your affirmation. So instead of like, um, you know, if you were going to say, I am not afraid of public speaking, that would give us the message that you are afraid. That's what Jack Canfield talks about. So instead you would say, I feel at ease as I speak in public. So I don't want to go into too many details about the like the right way and the wrong way to create affirmations. Like the most important thing is that you you're doing them. You're writing down something positive and you're starting to think positive. Like you cannot you can't do this wrong, okay? So don't get too concerned about like am I writing the right affirmations and repeating the right affirmations? Um one of the things I like to do is if you google like affirmations, daily affirmations, financial affirmations, um, you know, confidence affirmations. If you Google the miracle morning, um, by Hal Elrod, he has some amazing affirmations that you can use as well. We have affirmations on classy career girl for job searchers and entrepreneurs. If you Google classy career girl job, um, affirmations, that article will pop up and you can read those affirmations. So at least start somewhere before maybe you create your, your own affirmations. You can start reading other people's affirmations that are already out there online. Um, The third strategy that I love using um, that I learned from the success principles by Jack Canfield is the words or something better. So this is one thing that I was, I, when I was doing affirmations and when I was re- really um, using a vision journal and looking at it morning and night and really just frustrated with where I was at, um, one of the things I had is I had a picture of a house um, in a location of San Diego that at the time we really wanted to move to and we thought it'd be really cool to live there. And so one of the affirmations is I am living in, um, you know, this location, but I made sure an ad ad at the end or somewhere better, because let me tell you where I live now and the house we live in and like what, where we live now is, is the somewhere better. Like I, I would much rather live where I live now in the house that I live in now, in the location that I live in now, the school district for my daughter, all that stuff. I would much rather live where I live now than what was on that vision board years ago. So make room for changes and things that could be even better that you have no idea. You know, I wrote that at the time we didn't have kids. And so maybe like at that time, that was my somewhere better. But you don't want to be attached if things change and your desires change and your passions change and your family changes. You just leave that place for or the or somewhere better. Um, Lots of mine things didn't come true as well, and I'm actually glad that some things didn't come true. So don't be too attached. Always leave yourself room for even better things to have happen. So to summarize, you want to create your effective affirmations by using the words I am and using present tense and creating them for yourself. Don't create, don't, you know, do what other people want you to have. These are your own affirmations. Um, The second thing you want to write down a list of like your own negative qualities or your own negative 
um, thoughts that you've been having and then flip them to the positive. And those are the affirmations that you're going to repeat to yourself. And then the third thing for your affirmations is always use at the end of whatever you're saying, say, or somewhere better. So if you're saying, I am living in a house in San Diego, California that has, um, you know, uh, two stories and three bedrooms or somewhere better. So always be have uh, the, the opportunity to bring more positivity to your life. These things that e are even better that you have no idea are even possible. That is where I can definitely see that happen in my life. Like my life is way, way, way better than that vision journal I even created back in the day. So be, be aware that things can be even better than you even think are possible right now. So I hope you found this helpful. Please, um, you know, enjoy the last few days of 2018 and get ready for an amazing 2019 with us here at Classy Career Girl. We're getting started by doing our free 90 day planner. So if you have not gotten your planner yet, make sure you go to www.classycareergirl.com forward slash free plan to download your 90 day planner and make it the best year ever. I'll see you guys on Instagram. Bye.